Okay, to do the arrow test, the first step is to go to File, Open, and then locate the arrow test file. And I, well, I have it here, but I also have it on my desktop. So let me come down. So you just need to remember where you saved it. So there it is right there. I click on Open. Okay, now then, um, I need to, this is designed for A4, so I'm going to come up to my letter size, I'm going to change it to A4. Then I'm going to click on, you know, the little Apple icon and select Contour Cut Wizard. And I designed this file so it actually already has, it has a, a print layer and it has a cut layer that's on top of it. So it's all set, you know, just to basically be cut. Um, for, you know, make sure you select, you know, whichever sky cut you want to use, you know, pick your sky cut model. Then make sure you have print direct marked right here because you're going to print directly to whatever printer. Let me, before I do that, come down here, click on page marks because you want the page marks to be located here. Now you'll notice how mine extend outwards. That's because I need to change the properties on my printer. I need to go to my printer and I need to change it from letter to A4 so that it matches. And then after I select A4, now then, see, it all fits in on the page. All right. And then I got print direct. And I'm using, I recommend using copy paper, just, you know, inexpensive paper. And then come right over here and click on print. All right. And when I click on print, it's going to print it to my printer. Okay. Now then, once I get that done, I'm going to put it on my cutting mat. And I'm going to put it on the mat so that the arrow is pointing towards me. And then it goes into the cutter, you know, such that the arrow still is like pointing towards me. All right. The way you see it here is the way it goes onto the cutting mat, except upside down. All right. So when I click on cut, this shows me the arrows should be pointing to the left, you know, as I'm facing the cutter. All right. So then I just put the, the blade tip, I move the blade carriage, right, so that the blade tip right here is right over this lower right corner. And then when I'm ready, then I click on next. And then from there, you see how it goes. Now, one of the things, if it can't find the arrows, look at this distance up here. All right. This marked 190 millimeters. Take a ruler and that 190 should be the distance from this corner over to this corner. All right. And the 277 should be the distance from here to here. And measure that because sometimes printers don't print the marks in the correct spot. And that usually has to do something with um, one of the, you know, the different properties, whatever the properties are, you'll have to look at it and make sure that, you know, for example, no, no fit to page. You don't want that. You want just normal size. Okay. But every one of these looks different for the printer, but then there's various things that can cause it. So if you can't get it to print in the, the reg marks and the right locations, then that's something that has to be looked at because it's very important that these be, you know, really close to this distance. It doesn't have to be exact, but just close to those distances. Okay. And uh, I think that's it.